Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Subscriber, hi, I'm Laura and this is my channel. So today, um, Kristen from Beauty Moxie here on YouTube asked me to do a collab with her and she said that she was really loving her naked palette and I told her I'm doing another collab with someone coming up where I'm using the naked one but I would love to do a look using the naked too because I am always like talking about these palettes and I feel like I haven't done a whole lot of looks with them as far as tutorials go so I'm going to try and do that because I know a lot of people have gone out and purchased these palettes based on my recommendation and although I love them I have been not showing as many looks from them so I'm going to start like at least showing a few looks from each of the naked palettes so this look is made from the naked 2 palette and I use some of the bronzy colors, taupe color, I use this color and then the busted color. So I just created a really simple everyday look. I feel like this is not too dramatic. It's very wearable for every day. It's a nice, I don't think it's like, I wouldn't call it natural, but it's a very appropriate. I think it's work appropriate and it's just daytime appropriate. So this is my go-to everyday look using the Naked 2 palette. Now after you watch this video go ahead and head over to my friend Kristen's channel um, Beauty Moxie and I will link her video in the down bar. So if you'd like to see how to get this look then keep watching. Okay by the way I forgot to mention I'm sorry I have like a crickety voice or is crickety a word? I don't know but if it is I have like a really scratchety crickety voice because I've been sick but um, I really wanted to get this out so I'm really sorry if you're a new subscriber or you're like this is the first video you've seen I swear I don't sound like a sex phone operator I'm sick so if it bothers you you don't have to watch the video but I'm just warning you, it's not like I'm like hacking up my lung in the video so you won't even notice except for my crickety voice, so, or scratchety, I don't know, one of those two. Okay, I just felt like I had to say that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Blooper. I am a total doofus, so I already like did this, but <clears throat> the camera, I wasn't recording, so anyways, I took the Maybelline color tattoo in Toughest Taupe. And I just put it on the bottom portion of my eye and I just went between patting and rubbing it in like this. And it's just really a, just a light wash of color like that. And there's a squirrel outside and he's taunting me. I know it. Okay, now we're going to go into our Naked 2 palette. And I am going to take just this uh, medium shadow brush. I got it at Target. And I'm going to go into this bronzy-ish, this light bronzy -ish color, bronze-ish color called Suspect. And just dip it on the shader brush and just kind of run that on. I like the way the Tough as Taupe looks under this shadow. It just brings out more of the taupiness in this bronze brown. So just go ahead and rub that on your lid. Just go pat it take the crease brush that comes in the Naked 2 palette and I'm going to go into this plummy matte color called Tease. This is going to be our transition color. I love this color for a transition color. Um, any of those like plummy colors, you could use Quarry from MAC is similar to this, but I just love this color. Um, it's one of my favorite colors in the Naked 2 palette. that in my crease. Really just warms it up. Now this is just my go-to look from this palette. Just run that in your crease. Right. Then I'm going to take this e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to go into the color Pistol which is like a taupey gray color in here. It's a really pretty silvery metallic color and I'm just going to run that in below that color. Like we put the um, tease color up, up up above and like almost going up to our brow bone but this one I, this pistol color I just want to keep concentrated 
right in this crease right here. Like the deeper part of it. And the outer part right here. Now I'm going to take this brush from Real Techniques. It's a shaping brush. Whoops. It's a shading brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to go into the color Busted. It's like a um, burgundy, well, I don't know. It's like a burgundy-ish colored dark brown. And I'm just going to really lightly tap it in Busted, tap off the excess. And then I'm going to take that right into this outer portion just to darken it up right here. Just right here and in. Don't take it too far in. Just keep it really concentrated right here in this outer portion. You can just make little circular motions and then like this. I'm going to go back in with this shading brush and with no color on it and just kind of blend the edges. Same little shader brush and dip it in busted and just run that under my lash line. Highlight, I'm just going to take this little brush I got at Walmart and I'm going to dip it in booty call which is this really nice um, light color. It has a sheen to it, but it's not too shimmery. I'm just going to put that in the upper part of my brow bone and then right here in the inner corner just to brighten up the eyes. When you draw light in your inner corner, it just brightens up your whole eye. Now I'm going to take this Permaplum liner from MAC. It's just a really pretty purple color, a deep plum color. It's perfect if you don't want to be too harsh like black is. I love this color for softening up a look. It's just a really nice plum color, and I'm going to rim the waterline and the upper tight line. Just almost halfway in on the tight line. I'm going to take my Mas Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner, and I'm going to do a little liner, winged liner on the top. I'm going to keep this really close to the lash line. I just do like short little laying down motions and then when I get to the bottom I just flick it out. I don't want this to be a super noticeable wing because this is more of an everyday go-to look and a lot of people don't like to wear wing liner every day. If you do, you can certainly wing it out more. My lashes and apply L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Okay, now for my lipstick, I'm going to use Cream Cup by MAC. I love this as an everyday pink color. I think it's just very flattering. It's just a nice little nude. Nudie, nice pink, and I think it looks good on almost everyone. And then over that, for a little bit of shine, I'm going to use Cultured Lip Glass from MAC. Just right here in the center. For my cheeks today, I used this Blush and Brighten in Pink Buttercream from Laura Geller. I got this in that Baked Sale set from Laura Geller. It's just a really pretty veining. It's, it's a really pretty pink color. Um, I really like this blush. I like the way it warms up the cheeks. So that's what I have on my cheeks. And then for a highlight, I used um, Soft and Gentle from MAC, which is just a go-to highlight. This can be used for your highlighter or an eyeshadow if you wanted. It's a really pretty color right there. And then for my eyebrows, I used this Maybelline Master Shape Maybelline Master Shape brow pencil. Um, you this has plastic on the end and you can sharpen it. So I just did it. It's in the color blonde. And then it has like a spoolie on the end, so I just ran that through and combed my brows. 
See, I have brow problems. I just can never get them right. Okay, so this is the finished look. Just an everyday look. This would be like a total go-to look for me. Um, <clears throat> I love the Naked 2 palette. I think it has some really great shades. I also love the Naked 1. I think that Kristen's going to be doing the Naked 1. Um, so if you liked this look and you, if you have both Naked 1 and 2 palettes, um, you should go and check out her video. Well, you need to check out her video anyways because it's always nice to have two different looks. People ha either have the Naked 1 or the Naked 2. Some people have both. Um, so this is just a variety for everyone. So go out and go and check out her channel regardless. I know you guys will love her. She's new to YouTube, but she also has a blog that goes with, um, that she updates and it's awesome. It has reviews and pictures and you can just keep up with the beauty world through that. So I am really excited that she asked me to do this with her. So anyways, um, thank you all for watching and I hope you liked this look and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.